What's up, Strong Church? As you can see, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm at my desk, I'm not in the studio, and I just wanted to share with you guys what's been going through my mind recently. You see, I like to pray. I like to pray a lot. The thing that I like to pray for most of all is courage. I pray that God would grant me courage when I'm out talking to people and when I'm preaching the word and just in, in everyday life. I believe God has granted me that courage and even beyond that, that even if there was a building that was on fire, that I would have enough courage to go into that building and, and rescue people. I think that I would be able to do that. So now how does this apply to you? Well, I think if we, whoever you are, I don't even know you, but whoever you are, if you were trapped in a building and I was the one outside, I think that I would have enough courage to rush back into that building and save you. Now, I'm not saying this to, to pump myself up and, and to toot my own horn here, but I'm just saying that I think that I would be able to do that. I think that I would be able to do that on most days. And the reason why I say that is because I love my family more than anything else in this world. I love my family more than I love you. Now it might sound selfish of me to say that, but it's the truth. If one of my children was stuck in a building and, and so were you, I'm sorry, but I'm going to choose them over you every time. Again, that might sound selfish, but that's who I am. I love my family. I can't imagine anything bad happening to my children or my wife. But you know what the crazy thing is? Is that God did that for us. God sent his son down here to die for you and for me. And he had the power to stop it. But he chose not to. Why? The answer is love. God loved us so much that he was willing to see people spit on his son. To see them torture him to mock him and then to nail him on that cross. He allowed that to happen because he loved us so much. Now I don't know about you, but this illustration is very easy for me to visualize because I have a son. I can't imagine having the power to stop someone from hitting him, from, from torturing him and, and trying to kill him, and all the time having the power to stop it and not. Like I said, I would choose my family over you any day, but God didn't. He chose you over his son. Think about it. Stay strong.